Justice Ongaria on Friday ruled on a petition filed in July this year by activist Okia Omtata seeking, among other things, to stop any appointment of Wangosi's successor until a proper board is constituted. Following the court's ruling that a new board should be constitutionally formed before a new director general is appointed, this means that Francis Wangusi will technically remain director general despite the current board evidence opposition. Gituku has pointed an accusing finger at the media for misinformation of the court's ruling on Friday, maintaining the lawyer Masi Wanjau will remain acting director general of the authority. Some of the reports wrongly claimed that the court had quashed the appointment of Mrs. Masi Wanjau as CEA acting director general, allegedly on account of failure of her recruitment process to meet the requested legal and constitutional requirements. He says that Justice Brigham Oganya did not rule on Wanjou's appointment and also that he did not direct that former DG Francis Wangusi resumes office pending appointment on a substantive DG as reported by some outlets. You cannot move a stage two to say because there was no board, therefore you cannot appoint an acting director general because we also got a very clear defense on the appointment of the acting director general even in the absence of the board, through SCAC, through the Attorney General, and all that has been done. But that matter never came up, as far as I'm concerned. The board chair says the pronouncement was in reference to the job advertisement the authority had placed in the local dailies in July ahead of the lapse of Wangusi's contract in August. As far as I'm concerned, the, the, the court never dwelt on the issue of the acting director general. That will continue. The court was concerned about how the board had been appointed and they nullified the appointment of the board. It is now up to the minister to make the next move, whichever way he, he deems necessary. But as far as we are concerned, the position of the acting director general uh, was not a subject of the discussion. Wanjo is a commercial lawyer with 16 years of legal policy and regulatory experience in the ICT sector. She also serves as an assistant director, regulatory affairs and governance at CAK. Njerin Jogo for ABTV.